quadratic functions, we get to do some more interesting algebra. So what is a quadratic function? This would be a linear function, x times a number plus another number. Quadratic is different because it has an x squared term. So quadratic looks like ax squared plus bx plus c. We call this general form. There's also standard form, which is more useful for most things, but there are some things uh, that standard gener general form is much better, and that would be uh, y-intercept is really good for general form. What does standard form look like? Standard form looks like a times x minus h squared plus k. There are three transformations here. The base function, if you throw away the a, the h, and the k, the base function is x squared. We have a vertical stretch, a horizontal shift to the right h, and up k. Domain of a quadratic function, you're not dividing by anything and there's no square roots, so domain is all numbers. And we'll write that as negative infinity comma infinity. Y intercept, how do you get the Y intercept? You plug in zero. So you set X equals to zero. What is F of zero? Well, we're gonna use this form because it's very nice for plugging in zero. Zero plus zero plus C. What is our Y intercept? Written as a point, x equals zero, y equals c. We have y intercept is zero c. X intercept's more tricky. We're doing this one last. What do we do for x intercept? You set y equal to zero. So y is f of x, which is, now which way is easier to do it? I think it'll be easier to solve for, well, We'll go with general form here. This algebra will be more interesting. How do you solve this? Well, what we need to do is complete the square. So we're going to do that very carefully. What I'm going to do is factor the a out. And I'm going to leave c by itself. So I just factored the a out of here. How did I factor an a out where there wasn't any? I divide it by a. If you distribute, you get ax squared. This a divided by a cancels. You'll have plus bx. Now, next step, we're going to subtract c and then divide by a. So we subtracted c. So we have minus c and then divide by a. Now we're actually going to complete the square here. What do we get? We take half of the x coefficient, b over a. Half of that is b over 2a, b over 2a. And solving for x, we're going to add this to both sides. b over 2a squared minus c over a equals x plus b over 2a. We could boil this out, and then we'll be subtracting. Oh, and still squared. Foiling, b squared over 4, a squared minus c over a. Continue up here. I'm going to go common denominator down here. So I'm going to multiply by a over a. So we have b squared minus ac over... Oh, we also have a 4. So we're going to need uh, another 4 over 4 right here. So we could slip in another 4 over 4 and just move our equal sign over. So we get 4ac 
over 4a squared. Right here equals x plus b over 2a squared. Now we're ready to take a square root of both sides. Whenever you go squared with something squared, you get a plus or minus. Now we have b squared minus 4ac. This will start to look more familiar. 4a squared is 2 squared a squared. Now we're going to subtract minus b over 2a plus or minus 2 squared a squared when you take a square root is just 2a and then the top is left alone b squared minus 4a c and put this all together we already have common denominator negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a this is the quadratic formula and this will find the x-intercepts of a quadratic function. So it's called the quadratic formula. So that was some fun algebra. So what do the x-intercepts look like? This number right here, there's actually two numbers hiding in here. So one of them is negative b minus square root b e squared minus 4ac all over 2a comma 0 and negative b plus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a comma 0. Now if you remember the rule about square roots or any even root can't have negative in here. So what happens if b squared minus 4ac is negative you actually get no solution. If b squared minus 4ac equals zero, you get one solution. And if b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, you get two solutions. So you get these two solutions when b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero. You get two solutions.